Welcome everybody to Mick Fives, The Legend of Willow Valley. Now I know what you're probably thinking. Oh my gosh, it's a new Mick map! No. So this map came out at an interesting time in my YouTube career in that I had actually lost access to my email address where all of my Planet Minecraft notifications went. So this map came out, Mick reached out for me to do the trailer and do the playthrough, and I never got any of the messages. So the map came out, and I missed it. So, I'm after, good lord, this map, it's, it's got to be like a three, four year old map. After three, four years, I am finally circling back, and we're going to play the map. But not before doing a brief tutorial. Let's read really, button quick tutorial. Oh, okay, tutorial. Uh, you can push single blocks and double blocks in this map. Ah. You might find other things that you can push in the map, like gravestones, bookshelves, sandblocks, etc. Do a running drop on the red cross while holding forward. Bouncy. That's pretty easy. Uh, over a note to read it. Yep. Done that a bunch. A uh, button up there to be hit. Uh, while submerged, you can swim through a... Oh, we can swim through here. 380 straight forward. Uh, this map is very interactable. Try right-clicking on anything in the map that looks suspicious, like the red button. Oh... And then I think this is just showing off the the rope. Yes, I know I'm flying through the tutorial, but I've seen these mechanics. I have seen these mechanics many a times. <clears throat> Let's see here. Always look around for hidden levers and buttons. Okay, I'm actually kind of shocked it wasn't there. Then it's probably back here. Uh. Oh. That's neat. Cool. And I can start the map. Let's begin. Ah, the story. You have been searching for an ancient place. Ooh, ancient. You believe it doesn't exist, but you believe otherwise. Oh, so here we go. So you set off on your quest to find this sacred place, only to find yourself stuck with no way. Oh, no. And this is where your story begins. Hooray. lived here for around five months now and still have not found a way to open those doors oh or no way to reach that cave up there oh no but every day you keep searching i do well it's getting late i should go inside and go to bed i agree uh enter my house and click on the bed to sleep I'm sleeping. Oh. Snore. Sleep. Uh. Wait. Oh, duh. I was about to say, there's no way that this... that this place had an alarm clock. And after many months of searching for clues, it is now winter. Oh no! It's winter! I should go out and see if I can climb up to the cave to the, now that the snow is built up a bit. I should also check to make sure. Oh, there appears to be nothing. Wow. 
that's a pretty view. Oh, it looks like the ice is built up. I should be able to reach the entrance now. Ta-da! Switch. Hmm. Now, if I know Mick, I'm going to open this chest, either get a key or get a sword, and then I'm going to get attacked. A fast-growing sapling place in winter opening the way. To enter through the doors below, plant this sapling where no, where there's no snow. Plant it between the posts and it will grow. Plant it while it's still winter. Come back in spring and you can climb the tall sapling. Interesting. I didn't get attacked. This must be where I need to plant it. Well, it's getting late. Now I've planted the sapling. I should go get some sleep. Well, that was easy. Time to sleep through an entire season. Like Rumpelstiltskin up in here or something, I swear. It is morning, and after many months, winter has ended. Spring has arrived. Oh, look at the sapling. Wow. That's a big sapling. Wonder if I need to climb it. Oh, I did. Well, this is actually a pretty dope end. Pretty dope beginning. Whoa. I wonder where this leads to. It leads to misery. Oh, wait, no, that's the way out. Oh. Oh, it's, oh, it's mixed standard Minecraft thing. Oh, I'm so excited for this. I love the Mick Minecraft stuff. Crap. Oh no, I started to cave in. Oh no. I can do this. No. I absolutely love mix like little Minecraft cinematics here. This is, this is truly high-quality Minecraft right here. Ew, gross. Uh-oh. Oh. What? This is so cool. How does he do this? Ooh. Oh, good lord. I have... I don't know how he does this. It's it's truly incredible. Well. That was adventurous. Now where am I? I bet to look around. That's so cool. Ah, I see a door with no apparent way forward. I better look around for a button. Wee. Oh man, I love I love mixed maps. It's it's such a good combination of so many different map styles and puzzles and ah, uh, always so much fun to play these. All right, let's keep moving. Keep moving forward. How did he do the bugs? Oh, remember, plus F3 and D? Okay. That's that's good advice. That's good advice. I like the texture pack for this. This looks kind of like wood. Or bark or something. It looks good. 
Uh, that's a high waterfall. I better go down. It has to lead somewhere. It doesn't have to lead anywhere, but... Oh, whatever. Geronimo? Uh, it doesn't look like there's anything behind. Come on, Mick. It's a, it's an adventure map trope to have something behind the waterfall. Uh, I'm kind of assuming I just need to keep going. Whoa. Okay. This was not me. Wow. This is a strong current. Thank you for that, though. Like the the speed boost and getting us moving. That was good. That was real good. Button. Wait, what? Oh, there's no way back now. No, no, there's not. And you searching the sacred place, the sacred place called the Legend of Willow Valley. Oh, a stranger comes to our lands. If you want to enter the windmill, you need to see the strange man in the house here. If you can. Almost forgot. Follow the blue flowers. Blue flowers, red thorns. Blue flowers, red thorns. Ha! Nailed it. Oh, chicken. Yes. A man cannot survive on chicken alone, they say, and I call bullshit. How many times have I heard this particular theme song? I have, I have heard this theme song so much. It's so nostalgic for me at this point. More potions I'm probably not going to use. What? Hang on. All right. All right. Focus. Focus, Joe. Focus. Ow. Focus on your kneecaps. They are now broke. <laughs> that seemed like that seemed kind of odd. I'm looking for blue flowers. Ooh, that looks like a danger sign. Black Wall Cave. Oh, how aptly named. Wait, nope. Focus. I'm looking for blue flowers. I'm getting distracted by all the cool stuff to, to see. Okay, but honestly... This is a very impressive shot. I don't know how he does it. Like, every part of his maps is, like, stupid cinematic. The maps do be bussin', as the youth say. Oh my gosh, I probably just aged myself about 30 years there. Well, the blue flowers lead me into a hole in the ground. But there's also chicken. How bad can it really be? Huh. What a peculiar house. Chicken! Oh! Chicken! Wait a second. Oh, there we go. Okay. There's still more to this house. Where's the... ...watching you, and I give you credit for getting this far. But to go any further would be foolish without a weapon and some armor. Is he rhyming? Yes, I, and his lips are moving. <laughs> I know you're How did you do that? For the sacred place. It is the only reason to travel these lands, and many trials await if you continue. Oh. Now, do you have any questions? Several. Oh, click on a question. Oh, wow. Um, how would I continue to the Go land? to the windmill and take the torches. Then you can enter Black Wall Cave that leads to the pyramid. Then you would need to open the gate to Willow Creek Valley, which can only be opened from within the pyramid. 
starting with a pyramid. How very stereotypical. There's my old sword in the windmill you can have. But okay. you will need to search the ancient pyramid for armor. All right. So the windmill's our oh, next destination. Yes. Once you leave here and head through Blackwall Cave, you will be on dangerous grounds. It would be a good idea to find all the armor in the pyramid if you wish to survive. Thank you. You were most helpful. Mouth moves, but his eyes do not. So I need to get to the... I need to get to the windmill. How convenient. Oh, but there is a chest to sidetrack me. Ooh. Many a chest to sidetrack me. Need to start drinking these health shakes. How do these work? These are the throwable ones, aren't they? Yeah, they are. They are. They are the throwable ones. Well, I think this is as good as any stopping place as I've seen. When we come back next time, we're going to clear the windmill and, I don't know, maybe get to the pyramid. I'm super excited to bring this series, and I hope you guys are excited to uh, have me bring it to you. Thank you all very much for watching, and we'll see you all next time. Oh, my God.